Some of them headed straight for the water tower. The water tower creaked and wobbled. Then it started to tip. The water tower crashed down across the runway. Luckily, no one was hurt, cried Percy. The airport manager inspected the runway, he said. Oiled diesel. The diesel engines were very cross. They had put up with stinky steamies all day. Now Thomas had ruined everything. The steam engines were cross too. The airplane was getting closer. The workmen started to mend the runway. The foreman cried. Moan Thomas. The airport manager called for Harvey to clear the tracks. But Harvey was on the other side of the island. He would never get to the airport on time. Thomas thought it was all his fault. Moaned Percy. Thomas suddenly had an idea, and he puffed quickly away. Thomas was sure that Diesel 10 could clear the track. Huff Thomas. Diesel 10 was very scary. But asking him to help was the only way to save the airport. Thomas needed to be very brave. Thomas puffed nervously. Diesel 10 growled loudly. Thomas puffed again. Snap Diesel 10. Thomas told Diesel 10 all about the block track. He grumbled. Puff Thomas. Puff Thomas. Thomas added, Snarled Diesel 10. Thomas was glad he'd asked Diesel 10 to help. Diesel 10 was grumpy. But like all the engines, he still wanted to be useful. The workmen had mended the runway. The foreman cried. Thomas and Diesel 10 were puffing as fast as they could. Grumbled Ari. Muttered Bert. But then, Thomas arrived. Gasped Mavis. Ari and Bert couldn't believe what they were seeing. Puffed Percy. Before long, Diesel 10 was busy clearing wreckage into the waiting freight cars. And Thomas shunted them away. Said Bert. Said Ari. Diesel 10 was working very hard. Said Percy. So all of the engines joined in. They had to work quickly. The diesels forgot how stinky the steamies were. And the steamies forgot how dirty the diesels were. As soon as the tracks were cleared, Thomas raced off to get George the steamroller. George was waiting on a low loader. Thomas raced back as fast as he could. George smoothed the runway. Suddenly, there was a familiar sound. It was Harold the helicopter. And he brought Sir Topham Hat to the airport. Said Harold. Said Sir Topham Hat. All the engines were very excited. Said Thomas. Said Diesel. They all knew that steamies and diesels are different. But they both like to pull freight cars and coaches. And they both love to be really useful. The first airplane was approaching. And at last, the airplane landed. All the engines agreed it was a wonderful sight. 
They were so happy they blew their whistles and blasted their air horns. At last, the Diesels and Steamies could do their favorite jobs. That evening, the engines went to see Sir Topham Hatt. They were surprised and delighted. Puff Thomas, Puff Henry, Puff Edward, Puff Gordon. Sir Topham had added, but Emily was sad. She liked sharing her shed now. She was going to miss Thomas. Then Percy noticed something. He cried. Said Sir Topham Hatt. Emily was delighted. That night, the engines talked about steamies, diesels, and airplanes. And they all agreed that Tidmouth Sheds is the best place to be.